this was scary. Damn it. I mean, not difficult, but yeah, just small hits for the feet and whoa, this was nerve wracking. But 100 meters to the summit, let's go. Alpine photographer and today I'm here in the Engadin. Behind me you can see the Pitzbernina and if you see this video you probably notice that I have a project ongoing which is called 21 in 21 as you can see up here and it's about climbing the missing 4000 meter peaks in Switzerland. Um, there are 48 of those peaks in Switzerland in total and I've climbed till now 31. Um, so um, 17 missing. Um, if you have missed out the last four episodes, I highly recommend to check out my playlist on this channel. Um, this video will be about the Pernina, which we want to climb tomorrow. Um, you can see it with normal route, um, the Spala, Spala Ridge on the, on the left hand side. And that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. Um, my partner for this will be Alex, uh, which I climbed more long, uh, in a day with. Um, so this will be a really good team tomorrow. Um, probably the weather <laughs> won't be that good as today. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it won't be too warm. So way safer and not the big problems than uh, that I actually we had on the Latchhorn with the, with the high temperatures. So I'm actually glad to freeze a little bit. As you can see, I'm <laughs> actually freezing a little bit. And yeah. Um, really looking forward for the day to tomorrow. Um, really cool. Never have been to the Pitzbernina and yeah, it's kind of a classic. The, the only 4,000 meter peaks in the East Alps. And for sure, it would be probably nicer to go over the Bianco Ridge, which, which is on the right hand side there. Um, but um, you know, with this kind of project, um, and I'm still working um, beside this as a medical doctor, if you don't know that. And so you, you just don't want to come come in a hurry and um, that's why we do this with skis um, anyway this will be better for the knees and this will be not that a long day so I think it will be yeah maybe something like eight to ten hours tomorrow so not too hard it's about 2500 vertical meters um, so yeah I think for us it's it's good doable so yeah that's it um, we'll sleep somewhere up here and yeah I'll catch you up tomorrow and yeah Let's go for this adventure! Morning. There's our goal. It's Benina. Ah. Our plan today is to start a little bit later that other people can break the trail. <laughs> That's our master plan for today. Um, and we, we're pretty optimistic that uh, this plan works out pretty well. So we're planning like um, five to six hours to the summit. And yeah, probably like two, two and a half down. Uh, that's the plan, so yeah, sleek eight hour day, something like that. Um, maybe a little bit longer, but I think it will be fine. And yeah, now let's go and just enjoy the beautiful day, hopefully, <laughs> and uh, the amazing scenery. See ya! Oh. <laughs> 
Now we go to the left up there and traverse over to the right to get through this huge ice fall and then from the back to the summit. Crux of the door here. Ooh, go over there. There are some holes. Just another <laughs> suffer fest. Oh yeah, but just 500 meters to go. Oh, now we are here at the ski depot, 2,800 and around 50 meters. It's 200 meters to the summit. We switched to crampons. So let's get up there um, and just hope that the weather is fine. Yeah. Nice. Cold. Let's go. Been 20 nights and 20 days. Lost without. Friendly face, no reflection from my soul. Emptiness is rising tall. Calling to my brighter side, wishing for a place to hide, a place to leave the dark in me. But slowly I will start to change Feel the light within my range The aberration time is due Forever and ever
make it real. I'm on the run. I'm on the We made it, top of Graubünden, and this is number five of 21. This was, uh, yeah, quite thrilling <laughs> for me. For this master here, it's just like a Sunday park walk. <laughs> for me, it was, yeah, I mean, I brought two ice axes, so yeah, I was definitely pretty happy to have both of them. But yeah, just a short snack, and then we head back. So yeah, five hours, 20 on the clock. And yeah, let's go. Hello. Nice. Down there, there are the skis, and now let's go skiing.
the glacier. Ah, uh, there's some crosses, but I think it's not too hard now. So, yeah, pretty cool tour, but actually way more demanding than I would have actually expected. Yes. So, yeah, he also said that it's probably easier to do it in summer, of the Pits Benina. But for sure you feel more like, yeah, real alpine, um, yeah, real alpinism. Feels like because it's like wild and no people there. I mean, there were no one on, on uh, Pits Benina the whole day today. So that's pretty, uh, pretty rad, basically. And yeah, so it's just 16, 16 to go from the 21. <laughs> so pretty good. I think the beer is, uh, is totally fine if we drink one. And yeah, this guy here is doing some really crazy alpine stuff. So if you just like want to watch out, definitely recommend this. I just linked down the Instagram profile. And for sure, check out my Instagram profile for some images from this tour and furthermore, um, photography stuff. And if you want to follow this project, it's now the time to subscribe to this channel. And if you do so, I will see you in the next episode. No clue where this will be. See ya. We head for the sky, it's alright Our wings wouldn't fly, it's alright If we are crashing down again Pieces of love, it's alright Scattered in mud, it's alright You're giving me a lie again And tell me what you want this time I